Hey everyone, Steven here with Horizon HQ. Today we are going to go into the Toyota Mirai Fuel Cell Car Kit. So the first thing you're going to notice when you open the box is there is a nice set of directions in here from the manufacturer. I highly recommend going through this. Um, there's some good information here about you know, what's inside the box. Uh, there's some safety information for the user as well as the products in general. So take a few minutes, read through this, definitely worth your time. Second thing you're gonna notice is a box full of parts. Now, what exactly is in the box? Well, uh, the first thing you're gonna notice probably is this blue square here, this is actually our hydrogen fuel cell. And this is a reversible fuel cell, meaning that it can perform the job of a fuel cell for, by creating power. It can also perform the job of an electrolyzer or to make hydrogen and oxygen. So the fuel cell is a very essential piece. The next component is our battery box here. Uh, this is used to power electrolysis. So another important part of this. Third component we're gonna look at here is our silicone tubing. And this is just to connect the fuel cell up with the syringes and we can get our gas system going. Uh, we also have some pins here. These are to put inside the tubes to stop it from having gas leak out when you're switching things around and, and you know, working on the actual project. We also have um, a couple different types of syringes here. These are the five millimeters or five milliliter syringes, smaller if you're doing smaller projects. We also have the 20 milliliter syringes here. And these are for if you need something to go a little further, you need a little bit more gas for some type of project you're working on, these are the ones you're gonna to wanna to use. And notice that on both the five milliliter and the 20 milliliter, uh, there is a little sign that says single use only. Know that these are medical grade syringes. So if they were for medical use, you'd only use them once, but for what we're doing, keep using them until they don't work. Next, you're probably gonna notice these together, the DC motors and the transaxle that will be together here. Um, but essentially you have a DC motor here that's powered about, I think it's 0.6 volts, about half a volt. Uh, and then you have your transaxle. And the way that's gonna work, you have your DC motor here. I always like to put the red side up. If you notice, there's a little flat side here on this. I just kind of fit that in nicely right there and just push it. You might hear a little snap and then I, I'll turn the axle. This one's not turning, so we need to kind of fidget with it a little bit. And there you go, nice and easy. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna notice are these green pressure relief valves. These are one-way check valves. And so these allow hydrogen to flow through one way or to purge the system. So you have a little bit of hydrogen and water coming out and they keep uh, any excess gases from getting inside your system. And there are 24 of these in total. Next are our plastic clamps. When you have your whole fuel cell system set up and you have your silicone tubes going from the actual fuel cell to the syringes, you might need to move things around, or let's say you had these kind of set aside and you had some more gas, you want to use these to you kind of see that little clipping action there. The line gets pinched in between there and you can actually seal off the line. Again, this is for you know whatever you decide is, is uh, useful for this. 24 of these. We also have some LED lights. These are pretty cool. I like to use these when you're first testing out the fuel cell just to see, uh, you know, just to make sure that you're actually producing power and the fuel cell is working. And they just kind of blink back and forth. Little, little blue lights here. These are cool for a number of different things. We have all of our connections here. We have 12 red, 12 black, as you can see. Uh, one side goes into the fuel cell. The other side has like alligator uh, clips and those clip onto the motor. Last but not least, you're gonna have a bunch of bags in here. Uh, these bags are for storing all these components individually. Um, so let me show you how to do that. Let's go into how to store all this stuff individually and get it ready for class use. Okay, so I already have one prepackaged here. We're gonna go into that. And just in case, we already have everything written down nicely. So you can kind of follow along with us. So how do we put these into a class set? If you notice, this is 12. There are 11 other ones. Okay, so first thing you're gonna put into your bag is the fuel cell. Next thing is battery box. We want one battery box per kit. Okay, 
Next thing is silicone tubing. Now, there's a couple ways you can do this. Um, I highly recommend kind of taking this out and cutting this into four to six inch lengths uh, and then putting them in there. Um, or you can do the whole thing and just have the kids or, or whoever is working on this, they can cut these themselves uh, to the length they need. It's totally up to you. Um, next are our five millimeter syringes, two each. It just depends on which pro what kind of project you're working on, how far you're trying to go. I use these a lot. You can use these also. I tend to use this whole thing more for experimental purposes, so I don't use these too much, but if you're trying to build something that you want to go far, these are the best things to do. All right, so we got 20 millimeter syringes. We also have our DC motor that we talked about earlier, and we have our gearbox. For this, I like to pre-install the gearboxes. It just makes life a little bit easier. You can see you got that nice click there. I like to install and put them in, it just makes life easy. The next thing we have are our pressure relief valves. You got two of these, they go in your bag. And then after your pressure relief, you have your plastic clamps, put two in the bag. Then you have your LED wire or your LED uh, lights here. You wanna put one of those in the bag. Um, you also, you could opt to use the black and red pins. Um, I don't particularly use them very much, so I left them out of this one, but you could definitely put them in there if you wanna have the option to use those. And then the final thing, you're gonna want your wires here. And again, you have your two ends that go into the fuel cell, your two ends that attach to the motor, the alligator clips. Okay, so you have your kit together now. So now there's two last things that you're gonna need in order to complete this kit, right? You're gonna need some AA batteries for the battery box here. Uh, I like to use rechargeable ones. You can use whatever you have handy. You're also going to need some distilled water. Um, I prefer deionized water, but distilled water will work. Do not use sink water. That will severely damage and impede the performance of your fuel cell. So, once you got your water and your batteries, your kid's good to go. Now you can take these into the class and you can start doing some experiments.